ik uh, veel kunsten. Ja. <laughs> ja. 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 I am stood in front of one of the significant statues here in this great city and that is the statue of Ibrahim Rugova who was a Prime Minister during the time of the recent war. However, there is another statue that we are going to go find today that is rather more unusual and perhaps one that you wouldn't expect to see somewhere like this. So uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find it. Who's that over there? Skanderberg. Skanderberg, and who's that? The like, national hero who uh, fought the Ottomans who freed Albania yep. from Ottoman rule. In what is now modern day Albania and modern day Kosovo. Yeah. But not the statue that we are looking for. No. Onwards. Is that the statue we're looking for? No, still no. not. Many no. statues here. Still not Bill Clinton. As one of the uh, as one of the youngest countries in the world, uh, Kosovo gained its independence in 2000. Ah, I don't know what year. Six. As one of the youngest countries in the whole world and the youngest in Europe, Kosovo was founded just 14 years before the making of this video. So that's 2008, um, and for that, it deserves its own monument, and so it should. Newborn. So these guys weren't allowed in the mosque because they're wearing shorts. But I was prepared and I brought my little scarf and my long trousers. So I just went in, had a look around, and I met this really lovely local guy who showed me around. Um, and he told me that the mosque was built about 500 years ago by the Ottomans. Um, and that it's stood here ever since, been used as a mosque, and it's got beautiful like paintings on the ceiling and everywhere. Um, and yeah, it's really, really nice. <laughs> welcome to Pristina and welcome to the statue of Bill Clinton himself. Now, we should probably explain a little bit why there's a massive statue of Bill Point in a Balkan city uh, on the other side of the world. And now this goes back to the 1990s, the late 1990s and early 2000s, when Bill Clinton was the one who came and negotiated peace here in Kosovo. A terrible war happened during the 1990s and him and Madeleine Albright were two Americans who were actually integral to that peace. So, as you can see, people here in Kosovo love him. They brought peace to this nation and uh, we will always stay here, standing in the centre of Pristina here in the Balkans. Wonderful come visit sometime. Right, so now we've had a good look at Bill Clinton. Time to go try out some of the local Kosovan cuisine. So Thomas, yeah. why didn't you get the lung? Yeah, it sounded a bit gross. There were some weird things on there. There was like, mushrooms, uh, there was lung, unspecified, unspecified meat plate. And uh, something with muscles. Some of the muscles, which muscles we mentioned like seafood. Yeah, or was it like my, my massive muscles, or was it like... Uh, a bowl of seafood. muscles? Yeah, no. Uh, so I got meatballs, but they're not balls, but I'm sure it's very nice. The start was nice. So all in all we had
had a fantastic time in Kosovo and particularly in the city of Pristina. We really enjoyed the culture and enjoyed a fantastic last meal there at the end of the video. While Bill Clinton was a pretty cool quirk, there's far more to the city than that. We recommend you visit. Our trip now goes onwards to Bulgaria. In the meantime, 